If QAC TV is standing on a beach, there's only one person we want to be standing with. And we're standing with Kristen. And that means one thing that I know of. It's beach cleanup time. Right, right, Kristen? That's right. It's beach cleanup time. And we have the biggest day of the year for you coming up. When's that? It's Saturday, September 16th. And that is big. Why? Well, it's the Ocean Conservancy's International Coastal Cleanup. It'll be our sixth year participating, and it is a worldwide global effort to collect as much debris as possible from beaches, parks, estuaries, oceans. Um, they even do underwater cleanups. And we have so much going on. You actually have more than just one beach planned for that day, right? Correct. How many do we have? We have nine total right now within the county, and we are looking for more. People want to clean up their area, just let you know, and you actually set them up, right? Yes, correct. So right now on our website, Facebook and Instagram, we have our nine sites, including this one, Terrapin Beach, and people can come to any one of those nine sites. However, if they have a particular location near them that they want to clean, don't do it alone. Come to us. We will provide all of the supplies as well as the data cards, and then we will total those data cards for the for the volunteers as well. Right. And those data cards are little pieces of paper that actually start to, you know, add up all the stuff you pick up off the ground, no matter how random it is, correct? Correct. We ask that volunteers record all of the trash that they pick up, and it's really very unique because what happens is, is I tally all of those up at the end of the day, and they go into what's called a trash-free seas report, and that report is again, it's put out a couple months after the cleanup and it really helps for policy changes on a local level and even on a global level as well. And it helps the individual see, wow, there are a lot of plastic bags or there are a lot of baby diapers. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that as well, right? That's correct, yeah, yeah that's correct. <laughs> yeah, we hope that when they come to any cleanup, but it's particularly this one, they get to see the numbers really build. And so we hope that when they go home, maybe they'll make a change in their lifestyle, like just simply using a reusable bag. It's actually cheaper to do that anyway. And there's a lot going on. So obviously Kristen and the beach and the bay need your help. So we need volunteers, right? Correct. How can they get some more information? So they go to our website, canislandbeachcleanups.com. We're on Facebook, Instagram as well. And that's www.beachclamps.com? <laughs> right, the World Wide Web, correct. Nailed it. <laughs> what will you find?